Hi, welcome to lesson 10.2. Today we're going to be multiplying a fraction by a fraction using fraction models. For our first problem, we have two thirds times three fifths. When you have a multiplication problem, you have to ask yourself the following What is two thirds of three fifths? And here I have my fraction model three fifths because we want to know what is two thirds of three fifths. Now, the first thing you need to do is identify the two-thirds. Look at the denominator. Now, we're going to use that denominator to partition my fraction model, in this case in two-thirds. One-third, two-thirds, and three-thirds. So in essence, we've created a common denominator, an equal partition. Um, I'll show you in a moment why we have to do that with multiplication when using fraction models. Let's take a look at our fraction model. It went from being three-fifths to now it's we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts. So once again, what is two-thirds of three-fifths? We have nine parts. So what do those nine parts mean? Well, that's the area that we're going to be focusing on. So we have one-third of three-fifths, and now we have two-thirds of three-fifths. So that in essence, what we're doing here is we're taking the two-thirds of three-fifths, because three-fifths is not a whole number, it's a fraction. So in this section, all we're dealing with is the shaded part. So we have six parts there. So that gives us our numerator, or in other words, two times three gives us six. The total number of partitions, though, is 15, because that's the original. That's a total, 15. So my answer is 6 15s. Simplest form, 6 15s gives us 2 fifths. Now, for a second problem, we're going to use a different approach. We have two-fifths times three-fifths. So now this time I've created a fraction model for two-fifths, and I've created a fraction model for three-fifths. So I have two-fifths on the left-hand side and three-fifths on the right-hand side, and they're, they're already shaded in. And once again, it's two-fifths of three-fifths, two-fifths of three-fifths. Now, using this method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to superimpose one of the fraction models over the other. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over. And if you look carefully, there's a section that is shared between the two fractions. Remember, let's go back a step. Two-fifths of three-fifths. So look at that shared section. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six parts are shared between the two fractions. So that ends up becoming my numerator, or two times three equals six. Now, what about my denominator? Look at the whole, look at the total. How many parts are there in total? count them, there's a grand total of 25. So that means my denominator is 25. My fraction in this case is in simplest form. So that is my answer. For the last problem, we're going to be using um, basic reg standard method multiplication. We have 2 fifths times 1 half. Now, in this case, all we're going to be doing is multiplying 2 times 1 and 5 times 2. For the numerator, my answer becomes 2. And for my denominator, the answer becomes 10. You put that answer in simplest form, the answer is 1 fifth. Now, basis of this is those, you have to understand why this works. I know this seems a lot easier than using fraction models. 
but you have to understand why it works. And the easiest method is using fraction models.